This video is going to cover how to use your iPad as an extra display for your Mac using Sidecar. To do this, your Mac needs to be running macOS Catalina or later, and your iPad needs to be running iPadOS 13 or later. Here are the hardware and software requirements from Apple's website. First, let's confirm that we meet all the requirements for using Sidecar by going over this checklist. One, your operating system and hardware. Two, your Apple ID. Three, your Wi-Fi network. Four, your Bluetooth settings. And finally, your handoff settings. Let's start with the operating system and hardware. To check what software and hardware is on your Mac, you can select the Apple at the top left of the screen and then select About This Mac. Here you will see what version of macOS you are running, along with what model computer you have. To check what hardware and software is on your iPad, you need to select the Settings app. From here, you want to make sure you are viewing the General Settings menu. Once in General Settings, select About at the top. Here you can see what software version your iPad is running and what model iPad you have. You can compare this information to the hardware and software requirements from earlier in the video to ensure your devices support Sidecar. Now we will make sure your devices are both signed in to the same Apple ID. On your Mac, you need to select the System Preferences application on the dock. If you are signed into an Apple ID, you should see your Apple ID name right at the top of the window. You can confirm your information by selecting Apple ID. Check the Apple ID email at the top left. If you are not yet signed in, you will be prompted to sign in before you can see this information. Now let's confirm we are signed into the same Apple ID on the iPad. To do this, we will go back into the Settings app. Now make sure you're scrolled all the way to the top on the left menu. At the top, it should show your Apple ID name. If you don't see it here, you can tap Sign In at this same location to sign into your Apple ID. To confirm we have the same Apple ID email as on the Mac, we need to tap on our Apple ID name. Now we can confirm that we are logged into the same Apple ID email on the Mac and iPad. Sidecar requires both devices be on the same Wi-Fi network, so let's confirm that is the case. On your Mac, you can select the Wi-Fi icon on the menu bar to see what Wi-Fi network you are connected to. Now let's confirm we are connected to the same network on the iPad. To do this, open the Settings app and look where it says Wi-Fi. Now that we can confirm the Wi-Fi networks are the same, we can move on to Bluetooth settings. We are just ensuring that the Bluetooth option is enabled on both devices. On your Mac, again open System Preferences, and then select Bluetooth. We can see that Bluetooth is on. If it is off, you can turn it on right here. On the iPad, we can see if Bluetooth is on in the settings. Right under where we saw the Wi-Fi network, we can select Bluetooth. If Bluetooth is off, you can easily turn it on by selecting Bluetooth and switching the toggle button to turn it on. Finally, we'll go over the handoff settings. Handoff is a setting used by your Apple devices to allow them to hand off different apps to each other so you can continue reading or watching where you left off in apps such as Apple News or Safari. Handoff must be turned on for Sidecar to work. On your Mac, you can confirm Handoff is turned on by going in System Preferences and selecting General. We want to make sure the bottom checkbox that says Allow Handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices is checked. On your iPad, in the Settings, we will again select General, and then select AirPlay and Handoff. Here we want to make sure that the toggle button for Handoff is switched to On. Now that we have confirmed our software and hardware is compatible, and that our settings are correct, we can use Sidecar. On your Mac, go ahead and go back to System Preferences and then select Sidecar. From here, you can choose what device you want to connect by selecting the Select Device drop-down menu. Your iPad should show up here. If it does not, you may need to restart your iPad and your computer. This is fairly common if you had to change any of the settings we've gone over in this video. Now select your iPad. You should see an extension of your desktop on your iPad screen. Sometimes when using Sidecar, your display settings can change. 
If you want to adjust these, you can go back to the main system preferences menu and select the displays option. From here, you can adjust the arrangement of your screens by choosing the arrangement option on the top menu. You can drag the windows to better represent their real world arrangement. For instance, my iPad is to the right of my primary screen, so I can make sure it's centered there. You can also choose which screen you want treated as the primary display by dragging the white menu bar to that screen like this. If you would instead prefer to mirror the display images, you can check the mirror displays box. To disconnect from Sidecar, you can select the AirPlay Display drop-down menu and choose the Off option. If you are running macOS Big Sur or later, you can more easily toggle Sidecar by selecting the Control Center icon on the menu bar, then selecting the Display option, and then choosing your iPad under the Connect To section. And that is how to use your iPad as an extra display for your Mac using Sidecar. Thanks for watching! If you found the video helpful, consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this. And be sure to check out our website, whatthetech.io.